Hey everybody, this is Chance from Aqua Escape. Uh, I wanted to give a update on the 40 gallon uh, all immerse aquarium here that I got going on. Uh, just a reminder to follow up on the last video, every single one of these plants that are in here, uh, except for one of them, uh, were fully immersed when I put them in. So straight fresh out of the greenhouse, cut, snipped, and planted. So uh, now for the good news, not really bad news I guess. Uh, I went to Aquashella over the weekend as you guys saw in the videos I posted yesterday. If you haven't seen them yet, give them a look. Uh, Aquashella was awesome. I highly recommend it. It was great. Uh, so back to this. Uh, I left Friday at like 6 a.m. from my house because I wanted to go do some spring stuff up in uh, central Florida. And those videos are out too. Go check those out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful water. Lots of inspiration. Uh, videoed and photographed that I put up there for you and uh, I guess Friday night we had a crazy thunderstorm roll through and it knocked power out and with that it screwed my Wi-Fi timers up somehow uh, to where my filter my reactor uh, the DCT DCP pump that I used to push my reactor and my CO2 were all off. Uh, and my lights were the only thing that were on, but got reset to be on 24 hours. So the tank went three days, uh, no CO2, no filters, and uh, light <laughs> forever. So I came back, and yesterday it was a little a little bit of mess. It wasn't too bad. I was actually happy for, for what it looked like, uh, for what had happened. I was expecting a lot more algae, a lot more stunted growth, uh, just bad things. But I'm dosing very, very lean in this tank. In fact, I'm hardly dosing at all. Uh, I have a, a crazy amount of remineralized topsoil underneath a crazy amount of fresh aqua soil with uh, my own little root tabs that I made up. So. I'm allowing the soil to do most of the work right now. So with that, there's not a lot of column ferts. So I think that's why I had a lot of luck and staved a lot of the green algaes away because there's like no green algaes in there right now. Um, I'll get up close and I'll show you the other algaes that are in there. Um, but the fact that there's no green algaes and it got basically 72 hours of light with no CO2 and no filter is really cool. That's a big attribute to plant mass. Uh, as you can see, I mean, inch, every inch of this aquarium uh, has plants in it. There's, I, I packed it and I did that on purpose. Uh, it's how I start aquariums. Um, and I skip a lot of the annoying algae phases. But with this figure, I go to show everybody my little plant mass theory. And it's not even my theory, it's, it's done by loads of aquascapers and aquatic horticulturalists, but uh, I don't think anybody's ever really shown how it's done. Uh, so anyway, I was going to show it and uh, things messed up. So CO2 timers went off. So now we'll get in and close and I'll show you what I'm dealing with and how I'm going to fix it and how the tank's going to evolve. So basically with all these plants, they're not all going to stay in here. This isn't the final, this isn't the final view here. Uh, a lot of these are going to be removed, replaced, sold off, like I said before, and the tank will really take a better shape, a more organized shape, but first thing first is to propagate out the plants that I want to keep, the plants that I'm going to use to, to hold my design, to hold my, my color scheme, as well as, uh, if you can see, the, the lines of colors that I have going. Um, it's all, all kind of a art piece, I guess, in my head that I'm trying to build together while subtracting out these plants that I'm using basically to cycle my tank. So with that, I will show you the algae I got from basically 72 hours of no CO2 and only light. No CO2, no filters and light. So here we are. This this nice. And this is untreated. I haven't done any kind of peroxide or algicide treatments yet or anything like that. So. Uh, this kind of flopping around there. Nice little hair algaes. Looks like periephrin as well. That's probably due to the fresh substrate 
and my mineralized topsoil. So the way I'm going to deal with this, um, I'm not going to dose anything. I'm not going to spray any peroxide in there. I'm not going to use any algae fix or any of that stuff. Uh, I have enough plant mass in here right now that I don't have to worry about that algae. It'll get out competed in no time. I can outgrow it basically. I will continue with my every three day water changes. I'll continue uh, with my trimming of the plants, removing any growth that has algae on it that I see algae attached to or any kind of filamentous algae or anchoring algae that I see that it, uh, has its foothold into leaves of these plants. I'll remove those and uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll it'll eventually go away. Uh, reason being, if, if those that, that doubt that, uh, reason being is because of it's being outcompeted. There's not enough nutrients to sustain all of these fast-growing plants and an algae. And believe it or not, algae uh, are harder to grow than plants. Algae require very, very, very specific conditions uh, to grow and thrive. So to grow an algae is a lot harder to grow a lot of plants. So basically that's, that's the theory here. You pack a bunch of plants and you keep the water clean. So we'll see. I believe that's also why I don't have green algae, is there's just so much plants and there's no no food for the plants. The TDS in this tank is, is low. Let's see. My, this isn't my good TDS pin, but it's the TDS pin that I had right here, because it was an afterthought. So, But let's see. So the TDS is 92. So like I said, low. That's the lowest. I've ever ran it at, like I said in uh, previous times, usually I'm, I'm up at like a 150 range. That's kind of my happy spot, but like I said, no column firts, not doing it. Um, just letting the substrate do its thing, letting the plants do their thing, keeping the water clean, and uh, seeing what happens, you know. I, I'll, if I start to notice issues, I will dose a bit of macro, or uh, sorry, micros in there uh, from Burr Aqua. I'm still gonna still planning on using that but you know right now I, I haven't noticed much in need for it uh, probably because of the fresh soil and all that so but yeah it's only been about two to three weeks I would say since I planted this tank all immersed plants you can go back and watch the first video um, the colors you know the Rotella Ramosi are Florida uh, almost at the top of the tank um, yeah, all the hygrophilas are doing great. So, immersed plants are very easy to convert, guys. And they look great. So, anyway, that's the update. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated on when I do some maintenance on it. I'm actually either later today or tomorrow going to set the camera up on a tripod and go in and uh, do some maintenance on it and show you guys what I do. Uh, probably be tomorrow because I gotta go get my my kids here today soon and then once I have the kids here all you'll hear is running around in craziness so <laughs> I'll uh, probably wait till tomorrow morning to do that so I hope you guys enjoyed it all the plants all the beautiful beautiful plants and again they were all all but one uh, immerse so oh quick update here's that uh, update on the plant from China. Um, I always space out on its name. It starts with an S. So <laughs> here you go. It's doing very good. Some holes in the bottom leaves. Um, I think those are the immersed leaves. It came immersed as well. So uh, doing really good. New leaves are growing really red. So I'll be curious to see what they look like now that they have proper care for the next couple weeks. But yeah happy with it. It's a very, very pretty plant. I have a feeling it's going to be uh, it's going to be a hit once it grows in because it's looking like it's growing in off a stem and then shooting leaves off. So like more like a rosette rather than just a straight stem. So cool plant. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos so I can continue to uh, bring more to you. I want to grow the channel and basically share all sorts of cool stuff with y'all. So uh, the more people we get involved, the larger the community, the further this information gets, and the more we can do. All right? Have a good one, guys. Take care.